Hey guys, today I'm going to do a couple of videos on our off-road camper trailer setup. Um, this is a trailer that I've been building up for the last couple of years. And uh, essentially we designed this to be a toy hauler and also a camper. And I've had a lot of people ask questions about it. And several people asked me for some videos on it. So I'm just going to do a couple of videos today. I'll do a walk around of the outside and then I'll do a, a walk around of the inside as well. So basically this is a 2018 Colorado off-road trailer. Um, Colorado off-road trailers is based out of Castle Rock, Colorado. And uh, basically what they do is they take a cargo craft, cargo trailers, and they upfit them with bigger tires and a flat finish and just kind of make them look more rugged. So uh, I bought this one brand new and I decided to go with a bare shell model. So basically all it had was a 30 amp service and then uh, everything else was unfinished on the interior of it. I wanted to start with a clean slate so I could build it the way I wanted. And I think when you guys see the inside of it, you'll probably understand why. It's pretty sweet. So the first thing I did when I got it home is I built a generator box for it. So took some square tubing and fabricated up a, a skeleton and welded that right to the chassis of the trailer. Uh, then I bent up some aluminum diamond plate and and basically built a uh, kind of a wrap around it so that keeps the generator fully enclosed and keeps all the road grime and stuff off of it um, inside of the generator box i installed a yamaha 3500 watt inverter generator this is a super high quality generator it's whisper quiet it's also very smooth so it doesn't vibrate the trailer or anything um, it has remote start, it has electric start, it also has a pull start just in case uh, you need that. Uh, the box is completely open underneath and also on the back so there's extremely good airflow. Uh, but I did add a couple of additional ports to the side so you can remove those plugs and get a little bit better exhaust flow out of it just as a safety precaution. Uh, there's an access panel that you can remove very quickly, just uses those, uh, those wing nuts there. And then that KTM thing there, that's actually a hitch plug, and that just happens to fit perfectly there. But if you remove that, that just gives you access to the fuel filler on the generator. So it makes it very easy to fill it up with gas. Uh, up on top is a cargo box. This is just for hauling straps and locks and things like that. I've got a flag holder on here. Uh, we've got a uh, propane tank holder on top of that. So that's kind of neat. Uh, on the side, you're going to see there's an AC outlet so you can plug stuff in. You've got 35 inch Pro Comp all terrain tires on aluminum 15 inch wheels. Uh, up top, you've got an 8 foot ARB awning. And of course, we did opt to get the add on room so you can add a completely separate room to the side of the trailer and have a fully sealed tent or just a big mosquito room or just a place to put your gear if you want to. It's got a waterproof proof floor and everything, so that's kind of nice. Um, the back of the add-on tent that goes onto the awning also has a zipper, so you can zip down the back wall, and then you have access through the trailer through the window, which is really neat. Up on top is a fully welded aluminum roof rack. This thing is super strong. You can walk on it. Very, very nice. You can probably put some ski racks up there if you wanted to haul your skis up there. Um, there's a ladder on the other side so you can access the roof and then on the very top I don't know if you can see it but uh, there's a Coleman Mach 8 uh, low profile air conditioning unit that's a 13,500 BTU uh, AC unit and that also has the heat pump feature which the heat pump feature is kind of unique because it allows you to take the air conditioning system and reverse uh, reverse it so that it'll generate heat which is super cool. So we've actually uh, camped in Arizona and Las Vegas with this trailer, 113 degree heat and stayed plenty cool inside. And uh, also have had it up at high altitude, uh, Leadville, Colorado, our place, which is at 11,000 feet, um, been pretty much everywhere with it and also stayed warm in the colder climates. So the air conditioning and heating system in this thing is fantastic. And, uh, and the walls are fully insulated, so it really holds temperature inside really well. Um, on the back of the trailer, we added uh, a couple of jacks to the ramp door, and that just allows us to level the ramp 
uh, and use it as a deck. So if we're hanging out outside or you just want to have additional floor space inside, you have a, a full deck that you can use um, out back. If you do leave the jacks retracted, then it just goes all the way down to the ground and acts as a ramp door. So you can uh, roll in your dirt bikes or ATV or whatever you're hauling. And then there's also some stabilizer jacks on the bottom of it. You can see those kind of sticking down a little bit from the bottom corners. Uh, LED lighting all over the place. So everything is LED. You've got LED lights all the way around the perimeter. So you can light up your camping area really nicely. Uh, which sometimes is nice. Otherwise, if you want it pitch dark, of course, you can just turn them off. So that's kind of cool. There's one on the front too. Um, and then over on this side, uh, spare tire carrier. That's a tire carrier that I made just using aluminum. I'm sorry, not aluminum, steel, uh, square tubing and um, some round tube as well. That's basically just like a Jeep tire carrier. So pretty basic design, but I did go ahead and weld it to the frame on the bottom. And then the top tube has a tab on it that has a through bolt that runs through the one of the steel studs in the trailer. So it's extremely stable, no shaking or moving or anything. Um, and then over here on this side, there's a couple of inlets. So this is for uh, freshwater fill and then also for city water. So if you're camping somewhere and they've got water, you can just plug your water in and that'll bypass the water pump and the water system in the trailer and just use the water from the outside source. Uh, there's going to be a third port added, which is going to give you uh, outside water, so you can actually use the water from inside the trailer, pressurized by the pump, and run it to a faucet outside so that you can spray off your dirt bikes or mountain bikes, kayaks, whatever, and also will allow you to take a shower outside and get yourself clean. Um, eventually, I may add a hot water heater to it. Uh, there's already plumbing and uh, everything in place inside the trailer for adding a water heater. I just haven't added that feature yet, but most likely I will. So that's kind of a walk around of the outside and um, gives you a pretty good look at it. If you have any additional questions or you want to see something that I haven't uh, pointed out, just let me know. I'd be glad to answer any questions. And I can take some additional photos or more video or whatever. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll do another video of the interior, which is going to be pretty sweet. Um, thanks again and uh, enjoy.